What's going on guys, Sean Guts here, back with another video. Guys, of course we're in quarantine, I'm sitting at home, I got nothing else to do. Uh, so one of you guys suggested rating my subscriber haircuts, so that's what we're gonna do. You guys send me some haircuts, uh, I'm gonna pull them up and I'm gonna critique them. I'm not really gonna rate them guys, I don't really wanna give them a number out of 10, there is no perfect haircut. But I'm gonna try to give you guys some feedback. I'm gonna pull these up, give you guys some critiques. If you guys like this, make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know you like it. Give us that thumbs up guys, of course. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna keep bringing content even through all this quarantine stuff. And when all this is over, we'll be back to cutting hair and bringing some dope content. So anyway guys, let's get to the video. We're gonna jump right into it. And uh, first off, guys, let me say, make sure if you want a shout out on this video and you want your Instagram on the picture, make sure you put it on the picture. So all I have to go off of on some of these uh, is the name that the email came from. So if we keep doing this, guys, make sure that you put your Instagram on the picture. I can give you guys some tips on how to do that. Reach out and I can tell you how to do it. So anyways, guys, first haircut, Jason Ayala. Uh, this looks like a mid fade, uh, probably like a three or four on top. Uh, the blend looks pretty sharp. Um, one thing I could say is if you would uh, drop it a little bit lower in the front, then that will leave you a little more darkness for your lineup. And you can see in the back, it's a lot darker, lower, uh, but up, up around the corner of the C cup and the, that's where the start of your line is, uh, you really have hardly any hair to line up. And then of course, I'm gonna go in here and say that, you know, he did get a little red. Uh, looks like he used the magic pencil. Um, so something to think about when you're doing that is if you're gonna use one trimmer to line him up, go in with a razor, add the magic pencil, go back with the trimmer, go in with a razor again. That's a lot of trauma sometimes for some skin. So make sure that you guys are being careful uh, and go about that in the easiest way to, to uh, not cause damage to the skin or irritation. So overall, I think this is a sharp cut. The line's sharp, um, but for me, no matter how crisp it is, all I, my eyes go to is the redness of his skin. Uh, and that's probably something that would calm down, but. That would definitely tell me uh, that you need to just be a little careful about irritating the skin. Uh, the blend into the beard looks sharp. It's a, it's a nice cut. All right, next up, Fades by Raymond. Uh, this is a, here's another thing for you guys. If you guys want to send pictures in for this, the, the better quality, the more uh, you want to do like a landscape picture and not a portrait mode where this is up and down, uh, that can fill the screen better. And again, guys, make sure you put your Instagram on there. But let's get to the cut. Uh, I will say this is a good looking blend. Um, that's some tough textured hair for sure. Um, I will say behind uh, behind the ear where those dimples always are back here, uh, you can see it's a little bit darker. Um, so when you get to that, you just kind of have to go in there and maybe cut a little bit shorter. This is where you're really gonna use the corner of your blades um, and make sure that you get those dark spots to be consistent with the rest of the fade. But overall, the fade looks good. Um, that's a lot of length on top. It's not as connected as I would like it. That's also something I wasn't good at until here recently. Uh, so what I would say is maybe do some block graduation around here to maintain some length on the ridge so that that length on top sits in. But that's a clean cut. The blend looks sharp, uh, the line up sharp. Maybe get a little bit more uh, ball down, down at the bottom. That's about the only feedback I got. All right, number three. Adrian Roman sent this. This is, looks like a another you know two or three on top, low fade. I think the blend looks sharp. The lineup is sharp. Um, really, the only thing I would say is just down here at the bottom of this bald guideline, I can see some dark spots. So uh, if, if you were to go back in and clean that up, raise that up a little bit, um, you have a lot of this gray area right here from the bald line up into where, where the hair starts to get dark. So all of that gray, I would use that to take that bald line up a little bit higher uh, and stretch that fade, but that's all I see. I think that's a good looking cut, the lineup sharp, a little enhancement in the corner would help kind of cover that light spot. Uh, but overall, that's a nice cut. All right, next up, Main Cuts the Barber. Uh, IG at Main Cuts with a Z underscore. You guys see he put it on here. Uh, if that's what you guys wanna see when I put your haircuts up, make sure you include that in the photo. I just don't have time to go put your guys' names on every photo. So I'm gonna say the name, but if you want it on there, put it on there. This cut right here, this is a sharp cut. Uh, the picture's a little bit out of focus on certain parts, uh, so I can't see it real great on some of these parts, but uh, it does look like it's enhanced. I think it's a sharp cut. Um, I think the taper looks good. Uh, sometimes, guys, when you're cutting with 
uh, with waves. Uh, you guys can see around this hairline, it got a little bit low. Um, so either that can be caused by putting too much force with the clipper when you're cutting with the grain. Um, so you really just wanna watch that or even do the hairline with a little bit longer uh, of a guard if you're afraid that you're gonna take off too much hair. So that's all I would say. Uh, it's really dark back here behind the ear. Not dark as in not blended, but just his hair uh, is so thick and dark. And in the front where guys normally uh, recede a little bit or thin, you guys can see through some of that uh, where maybe it just got a little bit shorter and just having some darkness over here around the uh, uh, around the edge up and around the top hairline, I think would make it look sharper, but super clean cut. Definitely, definitely some quality. All right, next up, Michael McCoy. This is a nice cut, regular gentleman's cut. Um, of, course, of course, first off, I'm gonna say square sideburns drive me nuts. Uh, that's such a thing of the past, but I will say some people still come in and they want that. So for me, tapering that out would definitely make this haircut look a lot cleaner, but you got the, got the nice sharp line, nice edge up. Uh, got the face shaved. He, he leaves looking sharp and clean. That's kind of an executive cut. Um, so yeah, I think it's a good looking haircut. Uh, for me, adding a little a little skin taper on the side would make that look sharper. A little bit better blow drying style on the top would really make this haircut really look finished and nice. But nice cut. All right, next up, Greg Ojeda. Um, this looks like a little blowout taper. Uh, this is an interesting cut. I don't do many of these um, where, where people have the texture of hair that just kind of grows out. That's what we kind of call it a blowout. If you guys remember Jersey Shore. Um, but yeah, this is a nice cut. I think the lineup could be a little bit sharper. Uh, the lineup behind the ear is sharp. Uh, the C cut could be a little bit sharper, a little bit darker. And that's where you just really have to watch with taking that taper a little bit too high and you lose enough hair to make that line sharp. So going into that taper with a uh, you're going into the lineup there with a sharper trimmer, maybe some razor work, maybe a little enhancement could really make that pop. Now, honestly, for me, the actual haircut style, just having some length that's just kind of going, um, I don't, I don't really dig that as much. Um, so I would say maybe, you know, either grow it out a little bit, do a style with it, or uh, maybe cutting down nice to like a, a five or a six where it's right, real clean and consistent. Uh, and then do your tapers on the side. But overall, the taper looks clean. The lineup is is pretty nice. Um, just finished product, I think that would help is doing something with all that length that's just kind of sitting there. All right, next up, Raymond Dabu. Hope I'm saying that right. You're on a lot of my videos. So if you want to comment and, spe and spell out how I should say it, hit me up. Uh, so guys, this is a nice cut. Um, this is a hard cut to do. So a super low fade, uh, a lot of length on top. Um, I'll say that uh, doing a low fade like this is super hard. I see kind of a line right behind the ear. Um, and again, trying to blend up into that much length is difficult. Um, so all I'm gonna say is uh, stick to the systems on this. Um, just keep working that out, especially behind the ear, um, back here behind the ear where it's always darker, where you got some indentions and dimples. Um, you gotta keep working that. And if it doesn't blend out and look the same as the front, you have to cut a little bit shorter uh, with the corners of your clippers. Um, Again, on this one, I think a little bit cleaner of a C cup. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, after all the years I've been cutting, the edge up can really take a decent fade and make it look way better. So if you can get a sharp edge up on a decent fade, that's better than a nice fade with a not good edge up. So the C cup could be a little bit sharper. And then me personally, I start fading the beard at the bottom of the ear. Um, so where you can see that that hair, to me, that hair on the sideburn is a little bit high. Um, so that's the only thing I would do. And that's gonna disconnect your fade from your beard a little bit more. Uh, and this guy doesn't have a long beard, so you don't need a lot of room to blend that out. So I would start fading that right here um, at the bottom of the ear and, and bring it down. So you have like this much area right here to, to fade out. But overall, decent cut. I think, uh, I think I would say that just the more repetition for a low fade like this, the cleaner it's gonna come out, but not a bad cut. All right, wavy blends. Interesting guys, again, I'm gonna touch on this. I know some, some of you guys may not have the means to take a picture and send it to me uh, easily, but guys, it's just email. This is a hard picture to critique. It's a picture of a screen, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and critique it, but uh, make sure you guys send me high quality pictures. I can give you better feedback. Uh, so this looks like just kind of a mid to high fade, uh, looking like maybe he has a man butt on top. Uh, honestly, I can't see the blend really well, but it looks decent. Um, that texture of hair for me was always the hardest for me to blend. Um, one other thing I would say that front hairline, if you brush it down with the grain and then take like a closed one and a half or a open one guard uh, and cut that down a little bit, it looks inconsistent to me. So I would try to make that consistent. Same with all the hair around the ridge next to the part to the length up top. 
you want that to look consistent. You guys can see in this, some parts look dark, some look like it's brushed up, and some of them you can see skin through it. So trying to make that consistent, you know, you got a lot of shaver bald on the bottom, that's what I like. Make it all the way skin at the bottom so it's clean, blend into the top. Uh, honestly though, with this picture, I can't tell real well how the blend looks, but that's what I would say. Definitely a sharp line up, a little more consistent in your dark areas, uh, make that blend pop. All right, next one is from Eloy Diaz. So yeah, first thing I see is this side right above the ear where the length on top connects to the sides. Uh, and some of you guys asked me if I do clipper over comb and why or why not. Uh, and I'm just gonna make an assumption here, but I'm gonna guess that he tried to blend this in with clipper over comb uh, and it got a little short right there. You guys can see there's a whole chunk missing uh, above the ear. Uh, it may just be how the hair's laying, but that right there is why I've changed my process of cutting, guys. So I like to set up my block graduation that's smooth and even all the way around the head, bring in my foreguard underneath that, and that's gonna, you know, limit how, how I can, you know, I'm not gonna be able to come up with this uh, gaps in the clipper over comb. It's gonna be more consistent. Um, the blend doesn't look bad. I see that it's all the way shaver bald at the bottom. That's something I always, uh, that's really what made my haircut start to look better. Um, this, the edge up is not bad. It's a little bit light. The hair's a little bit light, so you can't get a real sharp edge up. Um, and then the bangs, you know, I don't know what style he was asking for. A little bit heavy in the front, and I'm gonna try to show you guys, I'll, I'll try to pop this up, but if you comb everything down and cut it blunt, guys, all that hair is laying down here at the hairline. So what you wanna do is take it here and take that corner off. Guys, my hair looks terrible, don't judge me. Take that corner off so when it lays down, you just created a layer and it lays smoother so it's not as blunt like that. So that's what I would say about that. A little more consistency on the Parado Ridge. Uh, take that blend down a little bit. You can see that like with a one guard or so, you got a little bit higher than the ridge and just really lightened up the haircut too much. So that's all I would say. Keep at it, man. Repetition, just little inconsistencies. You get more consistent every haircut. Just keep going. Next cut from David Smith. Woo! All right, with the Illusion Cape, I got the same cape. Um, super nice cut. Um, line up looks sharp, the blend looks nice. Uh, looks like he's kind of got some waves going on. Um, really guys, this is this is a prime example of where some enhancements will really take this cut to the next level. Doesn't need it, uh, but it's a sharp cut. And if you put a little enhancement on that edge up, make it as dark as the top of the hair, it would really make it pop. So I don't have a lot to say about that. I might see a little bit of uh, darkness in that bottom section where that open clipper is. Everything from there up looks nice. Um, and leaving that dark C cup is tough, of course, but super nice cut, man. All right, next up, it's my girl Jess from, uh, I believe she's from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm probably wrong saying that. I'm just throwing that off the top of my head. She is from Kentucky, uh, so super cool. Hoping to meet you at the show in April. Hopefully that's still gonna go on. Um, let's get to the cut. So uh, overall, it's a nice cut. I think uh, what I've been touching on a few times is really making sure you get that shaver bald at the bottom. And I can see that you tried to do a drop fade here. So you wanted to leave the weight in the back. Um, but I do see that the shaver in the back could have gone a little bit higher. The sides don't look bad, um, but in the back I would take that, if you if you go in the same shape as your, your weight is and do your shaver in the same shape, uh, you'll get a little more consistent. That The back to me just looks dark and shadowy. Um, so a little more shaver would really make that pop and give you that contrast. And then in the front, this is obviously kind of a side view, but in the front I would say, uh, trying to leave a little more hair here for the edge up um, so that you can see the edge up pop a little bit more. All those things combined really make the haircut better. Uh, but the blend looks nice. Um, again, that much length on top, you know, that's really been something that's been a style for a long time. Um, nowadays, I'm trying to trying to blend and leave weight on the ridge like I have. I need a haircut bad, but with a little more haircut on the ridge, again, using some block graduation, setting yourself up so that that top can sit nice on top of the haircut. But overall, it's a nice haircut. Keep at it, Jess. I appreciate all your love you be, be showing from Kentucky, too. All right, next up, guys, this guy right here. Trim Reaper, guys, his name's Brady. He just got uh, added to the wall barber team. I, I believe he works for Hattori Hanzo. I've actually never met him in person. I, I was at a show, guys, I'm gonna tell you a little story. Uh, I am not as personable out in public as I am now. I also wasn't good at talking to the camera, but I actually was at a show uh, that Brady was at, and uh, or not at a show, but at a class. Um, and man, I'm so timid, I didn't go introduce myself. So Brady, I apologize, bro. Next time I see you, we're gonna link up. Uh, but this dude's fire. I ain't gotta say nothing about this cut. Uh, super dope style. 
Uh, he does some hair color. He sent me another cut that was even crazier and, and really nice. But um, man, this blend looks sharp, uh, faded into the beard. There's an example, guys, of what I mean on the beard. You know, you don't want to have that beard looking like it goes too high up. If you're going to fade it, go ahead and fade it out mid ear, bottom of the ear, and fade into what you got left. I think there's an X part in the back. We can't really see it, but I can tell it's there. Uh, and again, guys, I don't know how much uh, color enhancement he does, um, but for me, especially for a picture, you throw a little 245 no drip on that on that edge up right there on the side, and that thing's to the next level for sure. But man, it's super dope cut. He don't need to be getting my feedback. Man, this dude's more doing more than me, but appreciate you, Brady. All right, Joshua Jimenez. Man, you sent me like three or four cuts, I remember, uh, and this one stood out to me. Uh, something that I don't do a whole lot of is freehand shaping froze or flat tops or anything like that. So this picture is a little zoomed out. I would I would recommend the next one you send, zoom in a little bit more so I can see the blend. But I'm gonna tell you, at first glance, this shape is nice, man. That's, that's super nice. Uh, that's something that not everybody's good at, uh, just going in there freehanded and making a nice cut. So the edge up sharp, the freehand shape looks nice, a little box. Uh, this dude's fresh. Um, hopefully when he comes back to go back to school, you get him like this, that boy walking him back to school fresh. So the taper looks good from here. I can't really see it real close up. Uh, but man, overall, nice nice shape on that cut. Uh, it looks real nice. All right, Dustin Scott. Th guys, this is a tough cut to uh, explain my thoughts on. Um, for, for one, this is a very difficult cut. Uh, this is also something I'm looking to make a video on very soon. Um, and so what I want to show you guys, the slick back on top, nice, perfect. Now connecting that to the sides is one of the hardest things uh, out of any haircut that we do. That's one of the hardest ones. Um, so what I would say is, if you can set up some block graduation midway on the sides, come in with that foreguard underneath it. And like, I, I think that the sideburn area and around the ear is a little bit too long. If you see, that's where the hair is wanting to stick out. So it's a little bit too long. Uh, the top looks nice. So what I would do is do some block graduation right here through the right below the parietal ridge. Take a four, three, two, take that down a little bit, get a nice edge up around the ears. Uh, just make it a little cleaner around the ears. Um, and, and on this on the sideburn uh, overall that I think that would really clean this haircut up And I'm gonna put a video out soon on how to do that. I only got one guy that rocks a slick back like this, but um, It's a nice cut rocking a slick back styling that it looks good. I would just clean up a little bit around the ears All right, ACS cool cuts appreciate you putting your Instagram on there um, I think you sent a couple cuts and this this one stood out to me one thing I wanted to show you I touched on it earlier um, so two things I see you, uh, cutting these waves down. I see that at the front of the hairline, um, off the corner, it got a little light on you. So when you cut with the grain, you gotta be careful. And I wouldn't even say that that was the problem because the top is longer than this. So what I would say is for you to clean up this blend, the blend doesn't look bad, but there's a couple spots as you're connecting to the waves that, um, there's some heavy spots. So the front actually might be okay, but the back is heavy. Uh, so what I would say, and this is, you know, I'm not sure how familiar you are with these cuts or something I wasn't really comfortable with at first. Uh, you got you can't be afraid to take a bigger guard against the grain. So what I would do is take like a two guard open right up the parietal ridge. And that's going to give me a consistent shape all the way around, color and shape all the way around the edge. Uh, and that's going to do away with those. So um, on top, cut with the grain, wherever you connect it to the waves, cut against the grain into that. Uh, and I think that would clean up those areas. So I think the blend's okay. I think if you could lighten up that darkness um, that you have above the ear and right behind the ear uh, where those waves are still showing, take you like a two guard against it and then take that fade up into that two guard. You guys know I teach my system of skin to a two guard every time. So what I would have done is taken a two into those waves and then blended underneath it and, and done away with some of those uh, dark waves that are still in the side. Uh, the edge up looks decent. I think it could be a little bit sharper, especially in the corner. Um, but yeah, those are some, some teaching points I wanted to show. But overall, it's a, not a bad cut. You got some shaver ball at the bottom like I like. Uh, just a little inconsistent on the top, uh, connecting to those waves. Very difficult haircut to do though, so keep at it. All right, Roberto Fernandez. Uh, this is another tough cut, guys. So a lot of length on top, uh, super low fade. Um, and again, kind of the same thing, guys. I see, I see a lot of length at the front where it connects to the, uh, the length on the sides. Um, and then the back is blended a lot better. Uh, so what I would say again, if you can do some block graduation, 
come in with your foreguard up into that length and connect it. We wanna see consistency wherever, wherever the weight connects needs to be consistent, wherever the blend is, in, is consistent, it needs to be in the same shape all the way around the head. So one thing I think uh, could, could improve on is making that blend consistent. And I got a few videos on how to do that if you wanna go check them out. Uh, and then also uh, because of that, it, it's met, taken my eye to some dark spots in the fade. Um, I think you could clean up. That's looking like around the one guard and the half guard area, which is also another hard uh, area to blend. Uh, but clean up some of these spots above the ear where you got some dark spots. The edge up looks pretty sharp, honestly. Um, just overall, just tidy it up a little bit. Systems that keep you more consistent. Make sure your guidelines and everything always go in the same shape. Uh, and this will come out sharp, but not a bad cut. All right, Enos Valija. Um, I've, a lot of you guys sent multiple pictures and the ones I picked on the multiples are something that I feel like I could teach on. So a lot of this guys, I'm, I'm making assumptions uh, based off what I see, but, and so I, I may be wrong, but just off what I see, I wanna teach on those points uh, and hopefully I can help you guys. So here, I think this is a decent blend guys. I would have cleaned up the hair on his cheek a little bit better in the sideburn. Just go ahead and bald that out. Um, I know that's some stuff that gets overlooked even if, you know, the newer you are, definitely the more it is. The blend doesn't look bad to me, but guys, what I want you to notice is as soon as we get up to the length, where it's probably like a one and a half or a two guard, and this is my guess, is that that was blended with blending shears, thinning shears. So if you guys see, it's super inconsistent through there. It's almost textured. Um, and so that's where I would say, again, a lot of graduation on the length, stack your guards, four, three, two, and then do your fade underneath. You obviously kind of, uh, you obviously have no problem with the blending part. Um, so setting yourself up would be better and, and cut out some of that inconsistency on the on the parietal ridge right there. And I, I'm guessing that's done by a skip tooth thinning shear and it just left a lot of kind of texture in there that you don't really want on the sides. You want it to be nice and smooth. So, uh, But the blend is decent. Uh, just, just keep on, you know, putting those reps in uh, and it'll come together. All right, Julian Morales. Nice cut, man. Uh, I can see some color enhancement up on the front. Only thing I would say about it so far that I noticed is that the color enhancement and having the dark C cup isn't balanced with the back of the haircut. So the C cup comes down so low and it's dark that my first glance is that it's dark up here really low and it's not dark in the back really low. So I would either do that as a somewhat of a drop fade or let that, you know, when that type of fade, I'm not doing a dark C cup. I'm doing that straight around with the three on top um, and, and eliminating the C cup just to balance the haircut. Other than that, nice looking blend. I see the edges are sharp. You're using some enhancements. So, so uh, you know, keep at it with that. Um, but that's just a tip on balancing and, and overall finished looks. Uh, I think if you're doing a low C cup, then you should have it low in the back. If you're doing a high fade, you shouldn't have a C cup. You know, it's just kind of about the overall appearance and look at the end of the haircut. I would have done that straight around from the corner up here, straight around fade it straight up, uh, and then just enhance it down to the edge. All right, next cut, Dreadlocked Barber. He just hollered at me the other night. We chopped it up a little bit. Overall, this is not a bad cut. Uh, I see a few things that would really make it go a long way. So for one, I would make sure, this may be a shadow fade, um, so correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if it is a shadow fade, I would do it a little bit longer on the shadow part. That way you can get a little bit sharper of a line. You either need to have a shadow fade with a nice sharp line or you need to do a ball fade. Um, and so if he wanted the shadow, he still wants to line up. I'd have done this a little bit longer uh, cause you can see that the C cup's a little bit light in the front. Uh, the corner on the, on the box is a little bit light. And then the line around the ears, I can't really see. So if this is a ball fade, get that shaver out and get that ball and that'll really make it pop. I don't think the blend looks that bad. You got some, uh, you got a little bit of dark spots here and there, but not bad. Got it styled up, the beard looks nice. Uh, but definitely either go full shadow, get a sharp line around the whole thing, or go all the way shaver ball on that. And, and uh, I think that'd give you a nice finished product. So, but overall, nice cut. All right, Young Al Pacino, another wave cut. And this looks nice. This looks nice. I think the, uh, the lineup's sharp. Um, something weird for me about waves, and you can see it in here, guys, it's just the way they lay. Sometimes you can see skin through there. Sometimes you can't. So I'm not really gonna comment on that. I don't think that's anything you did wrong. Uh, but the taper looks nice, the edge up. And again, guys, enhancements are to enhance a good haircut. You throw a little enhancement on that edge up, that thing's popping right there. It'll take it to the next level. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a nice cut. Waves are tough to cut. Um, I would just, you know, work on kind of the consistency through that blend. 
Uh, if you get light and dark, you know, you can throw that off a little bit and then make sure that edge up is super popping, super sharp. Throw a little enhancement on there and it'd be at the next level. All right, guys, Camden Ramirez. Um, again, guys, it's a lot of length on top and not really connected to the sides. And that's a tough thing to do. Uh, the blend doesn't look bad. The edge up can be a little bit sharper, but the blend's not bad. So what I would tell you is, and again, this is a new technique I just started learning. Um, go watch a couple of my videos, Basio's videos. If you set up your, your parietal ridge with some block graduation, do that fade right underneath of that. That hair on top would sit a lot better. And I can see the crown sticking out back there. Um, and again, when I was newer in my first few years of cutting, definitely this, this is exactly what I was doing. Cause, cause the, uh, the con it's, it's complicated to connect the top and the sides when you have that much length. Um, so that's the only thing I would say. I think the blend looks good. So you understand that. Um, and, and the reps of doing your blends will make you get better, but you're not far off. So what I would do is look at what can you learn next? And I think that that's something based on this picture that you could improve on, uh, is connecting that top to the sides. And that might just be what they asked for. Um, but really once you show people, you know, look at my hair right now, look how full it is. I really need a haircut, but I can wear this haircut for four, three, four weeks before needing to cut again because it all blends in, it lays nice, it grows in nice. So that's not gonna grow in as nice because the crown's gonna be sticking out and the hair's not connected on the side. So you get that big disconnect. So, but the blend looks nice. Uh, get that edge up a little bit sharper. It looks a little bit inconsistent, but you got the fading part down. Now work on uh, taking the next, the other parts to the next level. All right, this guy, Clouded Barber. Uh, if you guys don't know him, The Clouded Barber on Instagram, he's got a YouTube channel as well. Guys, I'm telling you, this is one of my homies I met from Canada. Um, we just chopped it up, met him through YouTube and Instagram, and uh, he's become a good friend of mine. So, man, I ain't got to say nothing about this cut. Super sharp, super, uh, super nice lines, got some color enhancement. Uh, he's a big supporter of mine and uses my color card. Uh, the only thing I'll say, and I noticed it on another one of uh, my people from Canada that I, that I watch. Um, I noticed when you guys do a cut like this, say that's a two on top, um, I, and I think I've seen this twice, but they'll take a one and a half and go ahead and cut the whole side off to one and a half. And I know we're talking different here because it's so low on top, but again, cutting all the hair out of the parietal ridge, and that's a really hot fade, uh, it gets a l really light right here on the ridge to me. So I can see straight through that hair on the ridge. I think that would look better with a, you know, whatever length is on top all the way to the edge and kind of where the corner of the edge up is everything up from there is dark to me now this may be something that's in style in canada um again i'm not really sure that's about the only thing i can say about this um but super sharp cut man look at the beard line the enhancement super nice um and if that's a thing in canada you just let me know all right like leg leader Le leg later hope i'm saying it right uh i picked this cut um, he sent me three or four or five. Uh, I wanted to pick this. It's super nice blend. Uh, the edge up is sharp. I really got nothing to say about it. But from the other angles, and again, guys, this is probably what the client asked for. The back is really skinny. You guys can see how much of the back of the head is cut off. Uh, and the blend on top is really up to almost to his crown. So this is, I guess he probably asked for a mohawk, uh, blended mohawk. Now to me, I would rather do a square shaped mohawk fade the sides and leave the ridge a little bit fuller. Kind of what we've been talking about. Um, but really the blend is sharp, the line is sharp. I really got nothing else to say about this besides me personally. I like a little bit wider of a mohawk, square on top. But man, look at that blend and look at that, that edge up, super sharp. All right, CJ Cuts Philly. Uh, super nice cut, I can see the blend is smooth. Uh, the edge up is nice. Again, guys, a little enhancement on the edge up would take away from that light spot. Um, one thing I will say, I get asked a lot about clipper over comb. Uh, and this texture of hair, you can see straight through it. So um, kind of right there above the ear where the where the top connects to the sides, I can see a little bit of a light spot. It may just be the angle. Um, and again, I don't know that you clipper over combed it, but due to how this hair sticks out of the head, I would just watch those areas because um, you want that to be dark where it needs to be dark and light where it needs to be light. Uh, so that's really all I got to say, man. It's super shaver bald at the bottom. The edge up is sharp, um, style. Not bad at all. I would throw a little enhancement in that light spot, but you got a nice cut. All right, Keith Hunter. I was shocked when I opened this. This is fire cut right here. The pink on top is dope. The design is nice. Um, maybe a little more shaver underneath. Uh, and again, here's, here's what I would do with that design. I would find out what guard gives me dark hair on that person's hair. 
Uh, for example, when I do Jackson's, I know I can go to an open clipper and still have enough hair to, to make the design pop. So what I would do is take that dark area a little bit higher and allow myself to have a little more bald under the ear. Um, it looks like that's probably like an open one or a, or a one and a half up to the design. So I would take that a little bit shorter, raise my fade a little bit and get a little bit more bald around the ear. But for real, that's a nice design. Maybe thicken it up a little bit in some spots and give it a little bit of um, depth and, and personality to it. Cause I always tend to put out the same width all the way through, but really overall, that's a, that's a really nice cut. All right, my guy Bluegrass Blends, another Kentucky barber. I appreciate all the support from all my Kentucky people. Um, I don't know if this is how it is for you guys, where you're at, but I don't get a whole lot of love in my town um, from any of the other barbers. And, and it is what it is, guys. I'm, I'm really pushing to learn and do better. Uh, I charge double what the rest of the shops charge. So nobody nobody supports me. I haven't sold a single color enhancement card in my, in my town I'm in, of course. Uh, but all my other Kentucky people, of course, the rest of you guys elsewhere, but my Kentucky people, I really appreciate you. Um, Bluegrass Blends, this is one of my guys that comments on every video, every post. I appreciate it. Um, so what I would say on this, again, guys, there's, there's got to be a balance from where your bald line is to where your blend is to the length. Uh, and so I would say on this, I see a lot of the same shade on the sides. I see the bald at the bottom. I see the length up at the top. And then I see a lot of gray. Um, so I would just work on perfecting your steps. Make sure that you're getting every length in that fade. You don't want too much of a one guard. I've learned recently that a lot of people use uh, a half guard, open, middle, closed, and then they do their one, open, middle, closed, and then they do their one and a half, open, middle, closed. Well, that's what that'll give you right there. A lot of gray. You want the bald, you want to get to the dark in an even amount uh, in the shape of the haircut that you want. So that's all I would say there. Keep working on that system, repetition, uh, and it'll come out. You will get better. I got some haircuts. One of these days, guys, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna bust out all my little haircuts uh, and show you guys what I've been doing. Maybe give you guys a timeline of when I started and what they look like. But overall, not bad. Keep at it, Keep get that system down, really stick to your system and don't vary from it. Uh, and you'll come out with an even more consistent cut next time. All right, another subscriber that's always commenting, A Chaotic, this is a nice cut. Again, guys, send me your Instagram on the picture, and I prefer not to have other stuff on it. I can't really see. I can see the cut, but the, the thing on top is kind of going into the cut. But anyways, guys, the blend looks nice here. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and assume that my guy's hairline on the, on the edge up here is kind of like mine. It's just not real prominent. Um, but you guys can see there's a little bit of a light spot there. Uh, so maybe throw a little enhancement on there, uh, leave it a little bit darker, do the fade a little bit lower, uh, just to get that line up a little bit sharper. But from, from the view I see here, the blend doesn't look bad. Uh, it does look a little more bald above the ear than in front of the ear. Uh, so I'll just make sure that looks consistent all the way around. Uh, but the beard, oh yeah, the beard, touching point on the beard, guys. The way I explain the beard the best to me and when to curve it is it should be symmetrical. I got the worst beard, so don't judge me, but it should be, if the bottom line is here, then the beard line should be parallel. And when you get to the sideburn, then you start to curve into it. So once once it curves out, it should be parallel. Um, so you can see here, it's a little thicker back on the jawline than it is at the mouth. So I would have taken that square, almost probably two thirds over, and then curved it up into the sideburn. But still sharp line, you know, your average person is never gonna say that anything about that beard, it's a sharp beard, but just my little two cents. All right, last one guys, BG to barber. Uh, this is a high fade. Uh, I can see a little bit of edge up. Jokingly, guys, I'm gonna say, brush your, brush your guy off before you take a picture. Get the hair off his, off his forehead. But anyway, guys, this is a nice blend. I don't really see a whole lot wrong with it. Um, there's a little, little bit of uh, uh, dark here in the front from the bald, right above the bald section. Uh, that's not in the back, but really it's blended in decent. I can't really tell how it's styled. Uh, and that texture of hair definitely looks tricky. But overall, nice blend. Uh, leaving a little bit of hair in the front, edge it up, and then make sure that's blended in. We'll give you a little bit darker of a lineup. Uh, but overall, it's a nice cut. Anyways, guys, that's the last picture. I got a lot of pictures this time. I'm overwhelmed. It is quarantine 2020, so we may have to do another one of these again soon. Um, I will let you guys know what's going on. I am going to keep trying to do these, do live streams, do whatever I can to stay busy while we're in this uh, funny time. Guys, I know this is a long video, but if you guys liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe guys. I'm gonna keep the content coming. I know it's kind of tough right now But I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever I can to bring you guys some value and uh, you guys leave me a comment. Give me the thumbs up 
And I'll catch you guys next time. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click this link right here. If you want to check out some more content from me, check out this video right here. Appreciate it.